How does it feel? How does it feel? What does marriage feel like? How does that feel? Marriage, marriage feels like, um, <laughs> ma- marriage is a is like another, like I, I whatever feelings that you have, like all of the good, the bad, and the ugly that you get from a regular boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, it's like times ten. So, so it gets gooder, badder, it gets and uglier. gooder, badder, and uglier. <laughs> you know, you you <laughs> you get wow. you get every everything. Uh, you get everything times 10. Uh, so it makes all of the highs so much higher and it makes the lows lower. But shout out to therapy because the lows ain't that low anymore. You heard me. Look at that right there. We are happy to hear awesome. it. I'll tell you that. And Bill, yeah. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm about to say, hey. <laughs> Not hey, a tax. Wait. His taxes hey. just went down dramatically. Oh, yeah. Ta- my taxes just oh, went yeah. down. But wait, but wait till you see that ring. You heard me. Oh, no. We know. We know what's going on over there. Boy, the big boy. She deserves. Listen, you might have to get your own uh, house next door. Listen, now. I know <laughs> when 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 I was when I was doing my time, I I remember my time every crazy. every time every <laughs> time she would piss me off, I'd look at that ring like I want it back. I really do want it back. <laughs> Yo, my time is crazy. Like you were sentenced. How long was you sentenced for? I did a I did a nice little off and on. What we did. I, Eight nine, I think at it was. The, we, the yeah. Big house, you did. It was a good big. It was, it was. Yeah, it was a good the big, big. The big white house. You yeah. Did it at the big house. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm happy to see you home, man. Yeah. Free, free yeah. my man. My man free. Hey, listen, free man. my man till it's backwards. <laughs> you know, free. free. <laughs> listen, free uh, b- listen. Before we before we start anything, make sure we uh tell y'all black asses to subscribe, rate, and comment. Y'all know what to do already, okay? Y'all get two episodes for the price of none. So what that means? Y'all need to go to the Patreon, guys next door pod. And subscribe, okay? We got content coming this year. We got new content coming. We're going to have some, um, actually some fun stuff. I ain't even going to sp- spoil it for you, but we got some stuff coming. And make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Guys Next Door Pod. And we back on the road. Fuck that. And Ooh, going we, uh, listen, I didn't, all right, if you, okay, had, he said I'm it. I'm saying it. It's all right, so you know what that means. Right yeah, we, we are going back. Is making announcements. With the Fuck cape that. out. The cape out. The cape out. So we will. So we are. They hate it so when I got are, my money do rag on. Uh, this my money do rag. <laughs> so we are on. prepping to hit the road in a very socially distanced, COVID safe way. But it is happening. So if you have, if your city wants to be, listen. If, when we say this, understand. If you are a person that makes moves in your city, please don't be a a, a regular attendee hitting us up about your city because you could do nothing for us. But if you yep. are somebody who is a mover and shaker in your city venues, whatever case may be, reach out to the email, reach out to one of us in the DMs and we'll link you with Dev. Um, so we can set that up. We know we're definitely hitting New York. We know we're definitely hitting Atlanta. We know we're definitely hitting DC, um, mm-hmm. LA, obviously. So, yep. you know, we're gonna. it's a small tour. The shows will be very COVID friendly, so it won't be a bunch of people, super intimate, super safe. Um, but yeah, we got next door 2021. We will be hitting the road. Um, I'm trying to think. Is that it? No, and make sure y'all follow us on God Next Door Pod on all social media platforms with your black asses. And make sure you check in with us where on Thursdays for your nosy neighbor episodes right here, wherever you download mm-hmm. or listen to mm-hmm. I, uh, 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 your podcast. Yeah, also, if you like a letter, if you like a letter read on air, send it to God Next Door 123 at gmail.com. Remember, y'all, it's 2021. We've been telling y'all almost two years now. If you want your letter read on air, all you have to do is email guynextdoor123 at gmail.com. Put in the subject line your own fake name or Che's going to read what's in front of her. Very Ron Burgundy style. Now, when it comes to the meat of that email, pause. If it is a relationship question, doesn't have to be. But if it is a relationship question, make sure you put a picture of you in the person you're writing about so we can give you advice properly. Because in a 2021, I don't want to give fat advice to a skinny person. And I don't want to give ugly advice to a good looking person. I got to keep it balanced. Now, are y'all ready to get into the first discussion of the new year as grown ass men? Please. Yeah, I like this. All right. I like this. So I think this one is, um, we might as well, right? We might as well. I think we have danced around this topic a lot um, throughout the duration of the podcast. Um, and it's always brought up. We're going to talk about cheating today. Ooh, we are going to talk really? about something that black men don't do. Um, okay. Cheat. Yeah, there we go. Because right. I don't know any black men that's cheated. I mean, me neither. Me neither. Why I might have start some, the year so toxic. Maybe on a I might have met some boys. I might have met some black child. boys. That I met some. I met some child. Black, some children. Yeah, some children. But black men don't yeah. cheat. 
Um, so let's get into it. Um, I guess the first question I would have for the room is whose fault is it when cheating happens? Like, is it Whoa, always the what? cheater's Mouse fault? Mouse Jones. I'm just asking. These are, you, are just you're questions. Not asking, you're not asking in a male or female way. You're asking in a period. Who's, who's, I'm, who's asking, first? I'm asking if you're in who's a relationship, wrong? if you're in a relationship and you cheat, is it your fault or is it the other person's fault for creating an atmosphere where cheating was a viable option? Or not Ooh. fulfilling what they were supposed to do as a spouse. Because wow. I think when we think about cheating, we think in it, we think of it in this very like linear way, this very like um, straightforward. Oh, uh, this person woke up and just wanted to have sex with somebody else, or wanted to do something with somebody else. When I don't typically think that's what it is, especially in my experiences with my friends and things of that nature. A lot of times, it's more of an atmosphere that's being set over a over an amount of time than it is just somebody waking up and being like just greedy. All right, well, I can start by saying this. I feel like it's the person who initiates the cheating. It's their fault first. Mm. Um, I don't go into that, well, you should have treated me right and I wouldn't have cheated. Or I don't I don't believe in none of that shit. Just leave. If, if it gets to that point where it's too bad and you brought up your, your problems and your points on what you want to fix, then bring them up. And if you don't bring them up, don't go cheat. Just leave the situation. Uh, I, 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 listen, I, I, I can understand that. And I think... I think that's what it's supposed to be, right? Like that that's one of those things like you ex, you you pray that a relationship is that open and honest. You pray that you have a partner that open and honest that could be like, "Oh, I, you know, um uh we're just going to I, I don't feel right here. I'm going to just back out." But on the real, nigga, a lot of people ain't even having conversations about like having open conversation about sex like a lot of times, think about it. Like a lot of times, before you get the draws, it's it's a crapshoot. You don't know what you're about to get into. You don't know right. what that person likes. So if you can't even have an open and honest conversation about sex, how do you expect to have an open and honest conversation about what what's pleasing you, what isn't? You know about about like how you feel in a relationship versus dipping out and and going somewhere else. So I I, I would say. I would, I would say, I would want it to, I would want to say that it's about the other person, the person who's cheating. But I, I do think that there's some merit to what Mouse said. You know, I think allowing it, 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 go, it falls on both people for the the lack of communication necessary to uh, create that atmosphere of of um, just being comfortable enough to be like, yo, something's not right. Okay, I, I get that. But to piggyback off you, I feel like it all starts with communication. So let me go back yeah. and say that. If you do not have an open, communicating <clears throat> relationship, you're never going to know why that other person cheated or is about to cheat or is upset with you if you don't really take the time to really know each other. So I say that True. that's first. True. Getting to know your partner, actually getting to know your partner, what they like and what they don't like and going through situations with them throughout the relationship lets you understand what ticks them off what they don't like, what you don't like, what you don't like to be around or their friends or whatever it is, so which won't continue the process of building shit to cheat. Hey, so, Queen Shay, tell me tell me uh, your thoughts on this because, uh, you know, I think we're speaking. I don't want to I, I don't want to take this on. Yeah, we're, we can only speak from a man's perspective. So what are your thoughts? Like the first person, whose fault is it when cheating actually When happens? you first cheated, Shay, was it your fault? Or was <laughs> it? <laughs> first of all, I've never cheated. Let's, let's start there. I've never cheated. Um, I, I refuse to even entertain the conversation that it could be the person getting cheated on their fault. Because at the end of the day, as both of you have said like it's down to communication so if you are unhappy in your relationship you literally have two options you can leave right. or you can talk about it if you are if you only like to eat seafood don't take yourself to a fucking steakhouse don't <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then be mad that you at a steakhouse like OD, you, that, you, just don't go you made the decision to go to the steakhouse you ordered the steak don't say just because it was open you had to go like i told you i didn't like steak because <laughs> at, at, at the end of yeah. the day that it really comes down to greed because you're cheating because you want to keep me or keep me in the dark but you still want to sample other other people all right let's switch so your tone let's switch of, your tone you sounding real you sounding real woman ooh. on male 
You sound yeah, real like hey, coming hey, down. Hey, hey, hey. Let's let's be on one level. Yikes. <laughs> Talk like a man too. Like let's Yikes. just like you're speaking well, I to think, someone. I think I think I think in this conversation that there's a little bit of um there's a little bit of us being obtuse, right? Like we're thinking of this thing in this like vacuum when it doesn't really exist like that, right? So if somebody's cheating, sure, it's the brunt of this go because I, I like I've said on this podcast multiple times. Um, no one's ever a hundred percent right. No one's ever a hundred percent wrong. True, indeed. Right. Fact. So, so yes, the brunt of the blame will go on the person that made that decision. Right. The person who said, "All right, I'm cheating." That goes on you. The brunt of it. Right. That does not alleviate any blame from the party who made cheating a viable option. Right. It's all about that atmosphere. You set an atmosphere where I couldn't continue to come to you with my problems, you, or maybe. You set up this situation where I want to be away from you, but I didn't want to not be with you, right? And we tend to forget about that, right? Like feelings don't exist in this vacuum of either or. Um, well, with some people, with me, it's pretty black and white. But with some people, I acknowledge that there's a lot of gray, especially in matters of the heart. There's a lot yeah. of gray area, right? So just because I'm not fucking with you today or for this week or for these next two weeks don't mean I want to give up this relationship. This relationship still does something for me. This relationship still... Um, somewhat fulfills me. It's just there are things that you are doing or that is not or that you are not doing that makes cheating a viable option. 